Hey guys, so here we are with key number three, and we're continuing with the whispering, <laughs> because I'm making all these videos at night at uh, two in the morning, so you're going to have to deal with it. Hmm. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I watched the other ones. You can hear me perfectly. So, this is uh, key number three, and this one is, uh, it's an eye-opener, because it's... Okay, it's being totally conscious and honest with everything you're choosing. And this is this is a different one because... Um, so just, if you get out a sheet of paper and you really look back on the last seven days, and it's, it's checking in with your priorities, like check back in the last seven days of where you've put your energy. You know, have you wasted your energy a lot in just like gossiping with friends? Have you wasted your energy a lot? Um, I shouldn't say wasted because to you, you know, it might be really valuable. But um, where have you put your energy? Have you put it in defending um, what you're doing for your life? Like, if there's a lot of people, like, badgering you on what you're doing for your life or whatever, you know, did you put a lot of energy into caring what they think of you? Uh, did you put a lot of energy in just wasting your time, like, watching movies? Oh, again, I say wasting. <laughs> Who knows? You might love to do that. But um, it's really just a place where you get conscious of where you're putting your energy because if you if you don't look at it and you just live like day to day it's an eye opener to some people like i i personally did this like i think two or three times now so to me it's just like i guess normal to notice how i'm like where am i where am i where i'm putting my energy um, cuz this is the idea that people you know they get up in the morning and it's just like all right what do i have to do today as if today is like it's like its own little block in your life that you just gotta, you know, get get all perfect and good today. If you get all the things that you're supposed to do today done, then you're all set. Um, and instead of looking into your future, like where can you put your energy today that will contribute to a greater future? And that's really uh, key because if you did that every day and lived your days for your future, just for five years of your life, you'd create a phenomenal future phenomenal future because not many people do that but the successful people in life do they live in the moment but they create for the future they don't just like you know what do you want to do today do you want to go to the mall okay we've done that now do you want to uh just sit around and watch tv and then you know do this and then it's all those are all things like just to kind of like fill up time for today and i'm not making them wrong i'm just saying if you'd like to create a phenomenal future get conscious on where you're putting your energy really look at it and you know ask yourself where you can maybe be putting your energy to contribute to your future instead of um quote unquote like i say wasting time so um you know yeah that's that's the simplicity of this it's, it's not really a tool i guess it's a key um but really check in where are you are you putting your energy and set out after you write out um, for the last seven days after you write out where you've been putting your energy really look at it and say like all right do I want to continue choosing this we'll, like look at it and say you know will, will if I continue choosing this will it contribute to my future if you get a no then consider your priorities consider changing them up so ask yourself then um, yeah, where can I put my energy to contribute to my future and make a new list on what you could do, where you could put your time in ways that you know would uh, contribute to your life and make life more fun. Like my first priority when I did this before was, was making people happy. That's what it was before. I didn't really know. I was just like unconsciously kind of like living in the moment to uh, make other people happy right like kind of like vicariously living through people and that was about like a year and a half ago or so but over the months I've totally changed it my first priority now is oh is happiness like my priority is to create happiness for me create happiness for the world um, move towards happiness do things that are joyful for me and if I do things that um, might not be let's say that fun I look at, is it worth it though? Like, will it create more happiness later? 
like, you know, sure, doing some stuff for your business isn't as fun as, like, going to see a movie, but you know that it's creating for your future. And the fun comes from within. So if you come from, if you come at it with a joyful attitude, then it is going to be more fun. And you're going to have the, you know, more enthusiasm when you come to it. And, and yeah, I don't know. Some people get more of a kick out of doing work than uh, seeing a movie anyways. So, you know, if that's more fun for you, that's sweet. But, um, yeah, my priorities, my top three that I have written out, the other two um, I'm kind of still debating about, but uh, happiness and, like, caring for myself, you know, joyful, like, that's all kind of tied into number one. Number two, I would have to say, is freedom. So creating a future where I have freedom. And uh, I'd say three is time, which kind of goes in with freedom, right? Like doing things in your own time, being able to create a future where you can do things in your own time, have your own schedule. Um, and uh, I guess yeah, money might be tied in there somewhere. But, um, and yeah, so then you write those out and you, you ask yourself like where you can put your energy today to contribute to those priorities, right? So it's a cool little, uh, I guess, um, assignment you could do. Assignment makes it sound serious and schoolwork, brah. <laughs> um, it's fun work, let's call it that. But um, yeah, I hope this helps and I hope this uh, kind of opens up and, and allows you to uh, consciously be honest with yourself and what you're choosing every day. So uh, I will see you tomorrow on key, key number four. Four, look at these long fingers. All right. Later, dudes.